Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Aisha Loves Makeup. Today I have the BoxyTron Base Box for the month of December. If you want to know what I got in my box, then keep on watching. So as always, before I get into my unboxing, I like to introduce myself to anyone who may be new to my channel. So welcome, my name is Aisha. I love all things makeup related. That's why I do makeup subscription unboxings on my channel because I love trying new beauty products, new makeup items, new hair items, new skincare items, anything beauty content related. That's what you're gonna find on this channel. That's why I also do makeup hauls. I also do makeup advent calendars, makeup mystery unboxings, anything that I can get to try new stuff. So if you love trying new beauty products, new skincare products, new hair products, new fragrances, then I would say subscribe to your girl's channel and become a part of my YouTube family. Alrighty, so let's get into this box. This is what you guys came here for. So BoxyCharm has a base box, premium box, and a luxe box. Those are the three subscriptions you guys can have if you're new to BoxyCharm. Base box is like the standard box you can have. It's been $25 for a hot minute now, but they recently said that their prices are going to go up as of January 1st. So the boxes are going to be $27.99 now. And they said if you already had like your subscription locked in, because I think I have mine locked in for like the six months renewal, they'll keep the prices for whatever you have. And then when it ends, it'll start with the the new price that just rolled out. So a lot of people are upset because they feel like BoxyCharm has changed. And it definitely has changed. Like the owner who owned BoxyCharm before is no longer owning it. Ipsy took over from it. And a lot of people are saying now that, you know, Ipsy took over is becoming like another Ipsy. Like BoxyCharm used to be like all name brand stuff. And it's not really anything name brand. For them, they have a couple here and there, but it's mostly like the indie brand, and which is fine, but people want to get what they signed up for. Like, I have Ipsy, but I know that it's like majority indie brand. I, I knew that when I was signing up for it. And BoxyCharm, it's supposed to be more so that you see like in, I don't know, let's say like a Sephora or a Ulta. Although you can get a lot of indie stuff in Ulta, but you, you get what I'm saying, or, or do you really? But nevertheless, a lot of people are upset, and I know a lot of people were mad when the premium box went up, and now, and the Lux, the Lux box went up, and they're like, all right, at least I'll keep the base. And now the base box went up. It's like, guys, why didn't you guys just put them, if you knew the prices was gonna go up, just put all the prices up all at one time. I guess they didn't wanna upset everybody too much, so they did it, you know, some hair. Now we'll do a little hair, but it's like, I don't know. What are you guys, what are your thoughts on the prices going up? I personally, I know I'm a subscription channel for the most part, even though I do like like lots of hauls and stuff like that. I did unsubscribe to my BoxyCharm premium box because I just, I just feel like the boxes, A, it's been a lot of skincare. The boxes have been very skincare heavy. And I do like skincare. I want to put that across to my channel. I do love skincare because your makeup is only as good as what's underneath. So you got to take care of your skin. And I definitely do take care of my skin and I use very good skincare products. I did do a video showing you like how I house the majority of my skincare. So you guys know I do have a lot of skincare, but it's just like you could only use but so much. Like I don't need 10 moisturizers. Like literally like every month you'll get like a moisturizer. Every month you'll get a serum. Every month you'll get a, like, how do you finish using stuff if you're getting so much of it? So it used to be just all makeup. And then I, I, I could even, I could remember as a matter of fact when back in the day, 
they had like an all skincare box. Like you had to pay for the all skincare box. Now, for like exclusively, now it's just like you're paying for a makeup box, but you're still getting majority skincare. So just find that ironic. But just having like a mini rant because like I guess a lot of us are getting frustrated with Octi Charm and a lot of people are saying if they don't get it together, they're gonna unsubscribe. So which I did. With the premium, I'm going to stick this out for a month or two and see. It didn't, the price increase it didn't start yet. I am locked in for six months, so I have to see like when my renewal starts. So I may still have to be locked in for a little while longer, but we'll see. Let's see how this box is. I already took everything out the box already because just for time purposes, but the box normally just looks like this. I normally just like to lately just take everything out. So, oh, I just dropped the box. So it's easier for me just to film and get right into the box. So enough with my ranting. Sorry, I, I had to do a little mini rant, but let's get into the unboxing. So it looks like there's Christmas boxes on here because this is for the month of December. So you see like the holiday festivities on here. I have like my little holiday shirt on because I'm wearing holiday shirts for the month of December. It says Boxy Charm Gift of Glam. And this box is supposed to get five items. So let's see if it's worth the value that they say you're supposed to get. So the first thing I got, and I don't remember what was my choice. I'm looking at the other items here, but none of these look like anything I would choose. So I guess I'll say this was my choice. I don't, honestly, I couldn't tell you. We'll find out when I open this up. So let's see. Okay, this is an eyeshadow palette by the brand Real Her. So I've never used this brand before. The colors look very chalky. Like, I don't even think I'm going to use this palette. I would give it away, but it even looks like kind of swatchy. So this will probably just be something that I have that I probably never will use. But unfortunately, this is what the colors look like. I'll put it up closer. Like, it just looks like this. all the stuff already is on it. Like, I just, I wouldn't even give this for a giveaway. The quality, it doesn't look that nice. And... It don't look that promising, but you never know. I'll try it, maybe. We'll see. So that's my first item that I'm not that thrilled about. So, like, how many of you guys remember when you would get Foxy Charm and it would be, like, one name brand palette? And it would be, like, one in name brand palette that, like, you know, you wanted to try before. Like, they partnered with Anastasia and, you know, Fenty and stuff like that. People were excited about but. When it's not to say that the real her is not a great brand, but you know, people are buying the boxes because they wanted to save on getting, you know, getting all these name brand stuff for cheap deal. But now it's just like stuff that, you know, you could care less about. Like looking at this stuff right now, honestly, I could really care less about any of this stuff that I'm, I'm getting. But we're gonna continue with the video anyway so you guys can see what I got. The only other name brand thing I could really see here is this Tarte Lip Gloss. And it's in buff. It's like a nice neutral color. This is what she looks like. So I probably would wear this gloss. So that's the only thing that I probably would like. Out of everything that I'm looking at right now, it says this gloss retails for $19. The real her palette gloss looks as it retails for $28. But that pigmentation does not look promising to me. The only reason why I didn't swatch it is because I don't know, like, maybe I can give it away to, like, a family member, so I don't want to put, like, my hands all in it if I'm going to at least give it to somebody. I probably, it's not nice enough to give it in a giveaway, but maybe to a family member. This is the next thing I got. It's by the brand Tint, and it's a brightening eye cream. So the contraption looks kind of cool. Oh, it's eye cream. Oh, tinted eye cream. Duh. This is what it looks like. I just squeezed it out by a little by accident. Let's see. Whoa, this color is what is going on? Uh, see, this is why I don't like like when they give you you can't give complexion stuff without knowing somebody's skin tone as well as like foundation or concealer because like look, this is like giving me reddish orange. This looks orangey on my skin tone. 
So I can't even use this. Like, this is like a hard no. I might as well, I don't even like to throw stuff out, so I'll keep it in my kit, but like, you see? So even though I paid $25, like, was it really worth it when I could have spent $25 buying something that I really wanted? So the next thing I got is a Luna liner. It says water resistant liquid liner. I've gotten this liner, I want to say I believe in Ipsy. So it's just a black liquid liner. And then I got a Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum. Just a plain box, nothing spectacular to look at. I'm definitely going to be giving this away. Rejuvenating Serum. How much does this cost? $45, they say, for this serum here. I like the bottle, but I'm definitely not going to use it. And it looks like it's already halfway, like... You see, I don't even know if I would want to give this away because it looks kind of used. Like, it's not even filled to the top. So, I don't know. This box was a hard no. Boxy charm. I, I've said this in my last couple of videos. And you can see in my face. It's just like, I don't even know what to say. I do not even know what to say. These are the things that I got. A palette that I'm never going to use. A concealer that I'm never going to use. A serum that I'm never going to use. The liquid liner and a gloss I would use. But it's a whole bunch of stuff that's not... People want to try name brand things. Not to sound like a snob, but I know what people want. You know, because I was one of them who was like, Oh, this is great. I get to try all the cool stuff that's in Sephora that like... You know, I don't want to commit to buying so much name brand stuff because I have a lot of stuff already. But I mean, for $25, hey, why not? But when you're getting all of these indie brands, no shade, no tea toward indie brands because, you know, we all got to start somewhere. So I get it. But it's just like, these are not stuff that people, it's not even cool indie brands that people want to try. Like if it was things like ColourPop or, you know, other things like that, that's like, more, like Morphe, stuff like that then people would want to, you know, it doesn't have to always be, you know, Anastasia or Urban Decay or Too Faced. It doesn't have to be, but it has to be just still stuff that people, that's trending that people want, not just, you know, a lot of no-name brand stuff that you're like, oh, I never heard of this before. Tint, brightening eye cream, never heard of it. You know, Real Her, I've heard of this just because I have a makeup subscription channel and I got a lot of this stuff like in Ipsy before or just subscription boxes in general. But, yeah, this is a hard no for me. This box would get... I don't know. Can we do, like, a negative, <laughs> a negative number? I wouldn't even give it a one because it was nothing here that... Like, this gloss looks pretty cool, but it's not, like, a shade that I would even really wear. But I'm going to try it just because I want to get something a use out of the box. But this box is going to get a zero from me today. So, yeah. What are you guys' thoughts? Am I being a little harsh on this box? Let me know. Maybe I'm being a little harsh. Let me know your thoughts on this box that I received for December. It was it was not appealing. And it's funny because, like, these other subscription boxes have been stepping it up to the plate that have, like, other indie brands. But they're, like, stuff that at least people want to try. I will be unboxing my ice cream beauty box that I just recently got in the mail and I've been liking the stuff that I've gotten in, in these boxes so far I only had one box so can't really say these boxes but my last box was actually pretty cool I got like the majority of the box is ice um it's ice cream is makeup related a lot of people recommended me to try that box on my channel because they're like oh if you like more makeup this box is more makeup so a lot of these other indie boxes or just other non like popular like besides ipsy or boxy charm boxes are, are stepping up to the plate so boxy charm get it together because i'm about to after uh filming these two videos i'm about to go check and see when my subscription is done because i will like unsubscribe for now if it's if it picks back up and it's so they start getting better things then maybe i'll stay but like i don't feel like they're doing what they say they're gonna do like in the Boxy Charm Premium box has already went up, and they're like, Oh, you know, give us a little bit more money, like we're gonna charge a little bit more money, because we're gonna just 
give you better quality brands. And we know you guys, we heard you guys. You guys want more name brand stuff and we're gonna give it to you. But I still haven't seen it. Name brand wear. <laughs> Makeup wear. <laughs> All I'm seeing is a whole bunch of skincare and indie products that nobody really wants. So step it up, please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love and miss you guys to pieces. I love and appreciate everyone who's been supporting my channel and subscribing. And I'll see you guys all in my next video.